Welcome back. Hello everybody, I'm SigRev2, and you thought those few videos were all I was going to have in store for the next few months? You thought wrong. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I, again, I'm SigRev2. Hi, hello, how are you doing? You look pretty good. Um, yeah, I decided to take these ranking videos that I've done up to a whole new level. Uh, for those of you who might not know, or for those that do know, I used to make these DDR song ranking videos where I'd go through, take every single song and from worst to best and tell you how I think about the songs and well, I figured I would do something like that but with Tear Maker here, holy shit and as you can tell from the title of the video and by the selection of songs at the bottom of the screen we are going to be taking a look at Dance Dance Revolution for the PlayStation 1, the very first game released in the DDR series in the US. I forgot exactly what year it dropped. I believe it was in the year 2001. I could be wrong about that. I've been wrong once or twice in my life. And yeah, I'm just going to go through all of these songs, as you can see. Uh, there's going to be no particular order. I'm just going to drop them uh, where I think they belong if I think they're a good song if I think they're a bad song and this is just my opinion ladies and gentlemen let me know in the comments below when all is said and done if you agree with my list if you disagree and what you think song what you think certain songs are like and where you put them in a ranking like this I made this tier list a while ago so I kind of know exactly where I'd put things excuse me but uh yeah, I will put a link to this tier maker in the description if you want to give it a go. Uh, drop me an image on Twitter, at SigRev2, if you want me to know. I'm also on Discord, in most of the usual sites. So, without any further ado, I've rambled on long enough. And there's going to be a lot of rambling in this, because I ain't editing shit. So there's going to be some swearing. If you don't like swearing, I do apologize, but I'm a bad sailor mouth. Anyway, let's begin. The very first song we have here is 20 November DDR version. I'm not too much of a fan of this particular track. I do think the original versions are slightly better, slightly more memorable, but I don't have a problem with it whatsoever. I'm going to drop this bad boy into 3 out of 5, and I do apologize if anything happens with the screen. I'm not completely used to OBS just yet, so if my image drops off or the screen image just drops off, then we'll, <laughs> we'll find out in post. Because, uh, you know, that's the fun. That's the beauty of doing this stuff on the fly. Okay, so next up is Let Them Move. Easily 1 out of 5. Uh... I don't know a single person that genuinely likes that song in any capacity. And uh, for good reason. It's absolute dog shit. It, it, it sounds completely amateurish, and the vocal samples that are used throughout just don't mesh well with the song at all. I don't know what Naoki was thinking about making that one, but at least he's admitted uh, after the fact that he's not a big fan of that song. And that's why you don't see it in arcades anymore, because he just flat out hates it. And I do not blame him. So, Naoki, uh, thank you for using your better judgment. Uh, speaking of Naoki, we got AM3P, or AM3P, however you want to call it. This one is a fan favorite among the Bimani community, and guess what? I agree. Five out of five. That song is absolutely amazing. No matter how many times I hear it, I have never gotten sick of it. I go to it often whenever I want to get a nice DDR fix. And there's a reason why this song has been around for as long as it has. And I don't blame, you know, Konami for leaving it around as long as, it they, as, long as they have. And all the different remixes that are, there are, all two of them in the series. But, I mean, come on. Come on, I don't think anyone's going to argue that. I don't think there's going to be a single person in this comment section that's like, no, AM3P, not a good song. And if you do try to say that shit, I know you're lying. Lying isn't cool. That's all I'm going to say. You come to my channel, you got to be cool. I mean, I'm cool as fuck, so be cool. Next up, we have Brilliant To You. Um, you're going to find a lot of Naoki tracks on here. In fact, I think there's only a small handful of songs, uh, not licenses, that aren't from Naoki. I think 
But a small handful of uh, <laughs> We're doing it live, fuck it. There's only a small handful of songs that aren't licenses that are not by Naoki under various aliases. Because for those of you who don't know, Naoki Maeda, he's pretty much the grandfather of Konami original songs. Uh, at least in terms of Bimani. I know you could probably think of other names in Konami in general that are more memorable. But when I think of Konami original songs, I think of Naoki Maeda. And I'm rambling again. Brilliant to you. It's pretty darn good. It's a pretty fun poppin' tune. It's going into... Hmm. Hmm. Do I like it enough to justify 4 out of 5? Or is it 3 out of 5? Because I like it. I don't love it. I'm going to put it here. Yeah. That's where it's going, folks. Three out of five. Uh, why is it in three out of five? Because the orchestra groove version is significantly better, and that's going into four out of five. Yes, the orchestra groove has, it's just, it sounds so much better, and it just feels so much nicer to listen to. Next up, we have Drop the Bomb. Uh, well, looks like this video is getting demonetized because I see Naked Lady. And, well, because of the Naked Lady, we're going to have to put it into 1 and 5. Uh, I'm kidding. That song is really good. Uh, 4 to 5. I like the System SF version just a little bit more, but I would rank them pretty evenly. And these are just broad rankings, by the way. It, I, I don't like to get too complicated when it comes to my rankings because there's some people that are like oh well this is a 4.3 out of 5 and it's like well what what's the difference between a 4.3 and a 4.2 I can kind of see if you're doing point fives, but we're going to take it easy we're going to take it easy folks uh, Dynamite Rave whew, I'm going to get some flack for this one I'm not a big fan of Dynamite Rave any version of it to be honest the B4 Za beat mix from Max 2 is okay but 2.5 El Ritmo Tropical, um, another one I'm not entirely a big fan of. That one's going to go in two out of five. Uh, if I don't have a whole lot to say about him, I do apologize. Uh, this is just quick on the fly recording. Um, just having some fun here, folks, having some fun. Uh, if you want some in-depth reasonings as to what I think about these songs, if you're interested, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, I, I will gladly respond to you. I love getting comments and responding to people and talking to my little siglets. God, I will hopefully never say that word again. That's disgusting. Uh, get up and move. Uh, for those of you who might not know, I actually participated in a remixed version of Get Up and Move on Dance Dance Revolution XX Starlight, released uh, by my buddies Martin and Noob Stepper. Uh... Yeah, I perform vocals. I rapped on a track, yo. My disgustingly ghastly <laughs> whiteness rapped on a track. Uh, so get up and move. I prefer the X edit, com uh, to be honest. The 2008 X edit, I think it just makes it sound a lot better. But the song's still pretty jamming. Um, yeah, song's still pretty jamming. I'm going to put it into 4 out of 5. Uh, yeah, songs are really going to have to... Most songs are probably going to end up in 4 out of 5. That seems to be my average. I find myself just liking a lot of music. So 5 out of 5 is going to be the big challenge. And uh, 3 out of 5 is probably going to be a bit of a challenge too. Because, I mean, there's not... When it comes to me, it's like, either I don't like the song, I really like it, or I love it. Like, it feels as though there's no real in-between. Uh, and that's a problem, ladies and gentlemen. I need to get professional help. I believe in miracles. I don't. Two out of five. You, I've never been a big fan of that one at all. I think it's one of the weakest licenses in, uh... I can't say the entire series, but at least in the early games. If You Were Here, though, is a certified three out of five. La Senorita. Four to five. Such a fun, fun jam. 
and Thomas Howard on vocals. That guy, that guy knows what he's doing. Except when he's singing about girls' butts. Have you ever heard that song from Step F2, I think the game's called? He sings about girls' butts. I mean... I'm not even looking at the screen right now. I'm, I'm looking at my OBS reflection. Uh, anyway, uh, Make It Better. This one's going to be a bit of a controversial pick, but I'm going to have to put Make It Better into the 5-5 five, five zone. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we're making this list better by putting the jams in the 5-5. Five, five. There's really not much I could say. That song just slaps from start to finish. Uh, if this were a look at step charts, it would probably be in 1 out of 5, but this is just, just songs themselves. And this is my opinion on the songs... How they sound, how they resonate with me, etc., etc. You get the point. Paranoia Cassette Clean Mix. Is it pronounced cassette? I know it's an abbreviation. But, hmm. I'm going to call it cassette because it sounds like the word cassette. And Paranoia K Cassette, K-Set, whatever. That's also going in a 5-5. Five, five. That's a slam jam. 2MB knows what he's doing for the most part. Not a ben I haven't really been a big fan of a lot of stuff Yuichi was doing with uh, past Supernova, but he's been regaining himself for the most part. Uh, Paranoia Max Dirty Mix. This one is going to be a controversial pick because this one's going into three out of five. Yes, three out of five. It it's a nice remix, but it feels very rudimentary. And... It's one of those, like, you heard it once, you heard it a thousand times. I, I, I don't know. I, I've never... I can't... I, obviously, because it's in the three to five, I don't need to repeat myself a thousand million times. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink. Uh, not sponsored, by the way, uh, but Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Obviously, a uh, product of PepsiCo. Y'all should... Uh, Y'all should sponsor me. Or don't. It's up to you. Anyway, <laughs> Paranoia. I'm going to have to put that in the 3 out of 5. Paranoia Cassette. It's, it, the, the atmosphere on Paranoia Cassette makes it worth the listen. And Paranoia, as iconic as it is, it's the absolute first original in DDR. As iconic as it is, Realistically, there's not much going on. With the remixes, for the most part, they, they really know how to build on the concepts that the original provided, which is one of the most amazing things about most Konami remixes. Excuse me. They, they, they know how to build on certain concepts and just turn them up to the maximum. And with Paranoia... You know, you get a nice baseline for the series. You get a nice baseline. It's a great way to start, but just like with Paranoia Max, you hear it once, you've heard it a thousand times. Put your faith in me. I I'm going to kick myself in the ass for doing this just a little bit. I'm putting in two out of five. I... I want to defend the Put Your Faith in Me series. I do. Because, you know, there's some cu nice, catchy melodies, but there it's one of the Konami series, like Konami original song series, that's been antiquated the most. Like, it just sounds like a product of its time. And in the year 2020, I really have no want or need to listen to something like this when there's been other songs in this game series that does that idea and significantly better. So it's unfortunately in two out of five. I think that one is going to be a bit of a, a nasty thing for some people. Uh, I'm not even sorting these out. I should probably go ahead and do that just real quickly. La Senorita goes up here. Really to you. Paranoia. At least... Put your faith in me. It's higher 
two out of five. So I can at least give it that. It's almost a three out of five. Uh, Trip Machine, the original Trip Machine, this one, they're all controversial ideas because I'm a very controversial man, but this one is going to go. Do I want to put it in five out of five? No, four out of five, but high four out of five. That's the Trip Machine series has always been some of my favorite songs in general when it comes to video game music. There's just something about them that always keeps me coming back, especially with some of the remixes, especially with Trip Machine Climax. Holy fuck. Boom Boom Dollar. It's okay. It's going into 2 out of 5. It's it's never been one of my big favorites. And the remix that was in a few mixes later was okay, but... I've always felt it was one of the weaker licenses. Dub I Dub. Dooby Doob. Dooby 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 Doob. This one's gonna go in high 3 out of 5. I do apologize for my constant lip smacking. Um, trying to work on my mic etiquette. Hopefully it's not too bad, but... You know, just a little bit of ASMR for those in the know. Just a little. Gonna eat my mic. You're a pizza. Uh, yeah, Dub a Dub. It, it, it's a nice song. It's definitely got a nice groove to it, and I do like it. It's one of my favorite licenses. I kind of prefer the X edit a little bit more. Uh, that's the case with a lot of these licenses in the early games, to be honest. But. Not bad. Have you never been mellow? Honestly, I constantly forget that this song exists. But I don't dislike it. Do I... Mm, I don't know. Do I want to put it in 2 and a 5? Or do I want to put it in 3 and a 5? I'm putting it in 2 and a 5. I never find myself seeking that one out. At all. It, it's okay for what it is. It's... The very first song on the, that you'll come across on the very first DDR. So obviously it has some form of iconic level to it. But as a song itself, I never find myself really wanting much to do with it or its remixes. My Fire is a very similar board. Although I don't think there was a remix of it in any other game. i probably drawing a blank. This one is... I, I'm going to put it higher. I'm going to put it... My Fire higher huh, than Have You Never Been Mellow. It's nice enough. I feel bad. I feel like I should be doing a better spread. Like, I feel like having a lot in two out of five is just a problem. So, you know what? My Fire, I'm changing my, I I'm changing my tune on that one. It's a jam. Certified jam. Three out of five. Put your faith in me. Uh, or another orchestra groove, jazz groove. There we go, jazz groove. This one uh, blows dick. So it's not as bad as Let Them Move, but wow. Uh, yeah, there's a, a there, there's a reason that that song never got revived until X3, almost a dec over a decade actually. Uh, for yeah, that song is not good. It's not good. It's it takes the worst aspects of Put Your Faith in Me, a song which I don't already have in high regard and it, it, it just replaces all the good shit in that song with things that irritate the piss out of me so unfortunately we have another one out of five and double unfortunately smoke also one out of five this uh, yeah one out of five i don't know what they were thinking with adding this one the mm. I, like I, I get you want like a smoke on the water type thing. Okay, so we're we're gonna inter heavily interpolate smoke on the water for a song. Okay, that's fine, that's great. But why make it annoying as fuck in the process? Like it's so it's so unpleasant to listen to. It's like listening to me speak for over twenty minutes straight. Holy shit, my phone is going wild. It, it's not. I, I. I can't. I've never met anyone that actually defended smoke. To be perfectly honest, and uh, hopefully I won't meet anyone that defends smoke because it's not a good song. And I'm objectively correct. This is an objective list. Fuck what I said earlier. I'm right, bitch. Anyway, SB Trip Machine Jungle Mix, absolute jam and a half. But it's not going in the five five. It's going right above La Senorita. 
Afronova also going into four out of five. This one going above Orchestra Groove. Wait, hmm. I do like the remixes better. I like the remixes significantly better than the original one. I'm going to put it down in the low four out of five. Yeah, I'm going to do that because it's my list. And last up, we have Keep On Moving. I think I'm forgetting some. I know the game had a small song list, but I feel like I'm forgetting some tracks. If I am, eh, whatever. I'm not a professional. <laughs> I'm barely an amateur. So keep on moving. It's okay. Uh, this one... I'll put it next to 20 November. And well, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen... I'm not proud of my list. I'm not proud of what I've done. But I'm not unproud either. This is my ranking of Dance Dance Revolution PlayStation 1 released in the US in the year 2000 whatever I don't care at the absolute bottom we have Let Them Move followed up by Smoke and Put Your Faith in Me Jazzy Groove then in the next tier up we have El Ritmo Tropical Dynamite Rave Boom Boom Dollar I Believe in Miracles Have You Never Been Mellow and the original Put Your Faith in Me in 3 out of 5, we have Keep On Moving, 20 November DDR Edit, My Fire, Paranoia Max, Dirty Mix. <laughs> if you if you were here, I almost said if you were never mellow. Which, uh, you know, with the amount of sugar and caffeine I've had today, I don't feel very mellow. Paranoia, brilliant to you, dub I dub. In 4... Out of five tier, we have Afronova. Get up and move. Drop the bomb. La Senorita. SP Trip Machine. Jungle Mix. Brilliant to you. Orchestra Groove. And Trip Machine. And in the five five tier, I don't know why I'm making this voice. I'm Duke Nugum. We have Make It Better. Paranoia K Set. Clean mix. And M3P as the best song on the game. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, M3P will always win in my heart. So, did you hate this list? Did you love this list? Let me know in the comments below and I will respond. Maybe. If I'm not stuck at work, I had to work on Saturday. I'm recording this on Thursday. So, yeah. <laughs> Take that as you will. But it's been fun. Hopefully I can do more of these in the future. And hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, I could always go back to the old format. But it takes a while to edit them. And I do like making these rankings. So, so again, comments, whatever. We, we, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> Have a great day. I'm going to bed.